So uh, in this study, we looked at the uh, patterns of recurrence after um, nephrotrectomy for uh, high risk upper tract arterial carcinoma. Uh, this is a, uh, an uncommon disease, I would say. And for this study, we relied on a multi-institutional database that allowed us to uh, study a pretty consistent population that entailed more than 1,100 patients. And uh, uh, we wanted to look at the patterns of recurrence after uh, radical nephrotrectomy for a uh, uh, high risk uh, UTUC, high risk defined according to the uh, guidelines of the European Association of Urology. We know that uh, after surgery, there's a pretty strong, uh, uh, pretty high risk of uh, recurrence uh, um, after the first few years. Uh, and we wanted to see whether the uh, current guidelines that uh, recommend uh, uh, performing imaging at cystoscopies at certain times were, uh, are appropriate or should be revised. That was like the, uh, the aim of the study, the background of the study. Yeah, so basically we looked at the uh, patterns of recurrence and uh, location of recurrence. Uh, first of all, uh, the uh, follow-up after um, high-risk uh, uh, upper tract urethral carcinoma entails cystoscopies and imaging. And this is pretty peculiar because uh, all the other uh, urological cancers uh, are usually followed up just by means of uh, imaging as the uh, primary exam in addition to uh, follow-up visits, uh, lab tests, and in case of urethral cancers, um, uh, urinary cytology. Uh, so for the UTC, we basically have two main uh, modalities for follow-up, which are uh, cystoscopies and uh, uh, cross-sectional imaging. We looked at the recurrence in, uh, uh, in the bladder, which are detected by means of cystoscopies, which is an office procedure where we use an instrument that is a cystoscope that is like a pen. It has a camera on top. We go in the bladder and uh, we check for uh, potential tumors and also uh, cross-sectional images that, uh, cross-sectional imaging that uh, consists in a CT scan or a MRI urography when uh, were appropriate. Uh, we also uh, stratified patients according to bladder cancer history, because we know that if a patient has had a urethelial cancer in the bladder before uh, um, developing a urethelial cancer in the uh, upper urinary tract, they have a higher risk of recurrence after radical nephrotherectomy, but this, is not taken into account in the current EAU guidelines on whether a patient that has had a prior bladder cancer history should be followed up in a different way or not. And uh, uh, we looked at the patterns of recurrence over time. Uh, as you can see here in uh, this slide that uh, I'm sharing with you, this slide from the presentation that I gave uh, during the uh, EAU 21, uh, you can see on the left uh, that uh, patients, uh, uh, on the left, the patterns of recurrence in the bladder, patients are stratified according to the prior history of bladder cancer or not. And on the right, you can see the uh, recurrence over time in the uh, other organs, which means uh, all the metastases outside the bladder, uh, basically distant metastases, metastases in the uh, resection bed or metastases in the uh, regional lymph nodes or uh, distant lymph nodes. Uh, over time. And what you can see is that uh, uh, despite the rate of non-bladder recurrence is always higher than the rate of bladder recurrence, the intensity of cystoscopies is uh, uh, greater than the, intensities, than the intensity of uh, um, imaging, ac always according to the EAU guidelines. So basically, uh, according to what we found, we are uh, going to propose a uh, adjustment in the timing of the um, imaging and cystoscopies for follow-up after uh, surgical treatment for high-risk high uh, UTOC. Uh, of course, uh, counseling patients about recurrence is always important. Our findings also uh, can be used to counsel patients uh, uh, on their risk of recurrence over time. And uh, we have now, I would say, uh, strong uh, and consistent data on the risk of recurrence according to also bladder cancer, his, a prior history of a bladder cancer or not. So this is also another important point for uh, patient counseling. Uh, so now adjuvant chemotherapy is, uh, the, uh, should, be the, uh, should be the standard of care for uh, patients uh, um, that have uh, uh, non-organ confined uh, upper tract urethral carcinoma. So meaning these patients should receive a platinum-based chemotherapy after surgery um, because it has been shown that uh, 
patients receiving adjuvant chemotherapy have a lower risk of uh, uh, recurrence uh, over time. Uh, notably, this trial led to a significant improvement in the um, uh, disease-free survival that was uh, uh, greater than expected, and it was terminated earlier. Uh, we also ran our analysis uh, on patients that received adjuvant chemotherapy after surgery, and we basically found the same pattern of uh, uh, recurrence, meaning the majority of recurrences of occurred during the uh, first two to three years, while uh, the uh, risk was very low on the uh, mid to long term, uh, confirming the fact that adjuvant chemotherapy reduces the risk on, uh, on the long term. Uh, one thing that probably I haven't said earlier is that what uh, we're proposing to revise the um, guidelines with is a more intense imaging scheme that entails imaging uh, semi-annually for three years and not uh, for the first two years like uh, how it is now. Or we could even say uh, to increase the um, uh, imaging intensity semi-annually till the fourth year, because after the fourth year, the um, risk drops uh, below 20%. Uh, but this needs to be, of course, discussed and uh, maybe seen in uh, future studies as well. And uh, one could actually, in theory, decrease the intensity of cystoscopies to semi-annually till, till the uh, fourth year, which is now semi-annually till the uh, sixth, uh, till the fifth year after uh, every three months for the um, first year, which is something that uh, we are confirming because the patterns of recurrence in the bladder is uh, um, basically uh, pretty intense for uh, for the first year after surgery uh, so basically what we're, we are confirming that in patients receiving uh, adjuvant chemotherapy which should be the new standard of care for patients uh, undergoing surgery for high risk upper tract uh, urethelial carcinoma the uh, follow-up should be the one that we are uh, proposing mm -hmm.